Hi. So I hear a lot um, that um, it's too so complicated and complex to set up a, a Bifrost scatter stuff. And that's okay. That's how it is. But you have to do it only once. So if you have a scene like this here and you need to do um, something similar, you can just copy and paste this in the in the new scene and just set it up really, really fast. And something great about Bifrost is if you copy this stuff here and paste it into the text editor, you see here you get a lot of code and that's just uh, connections here and you also can uh, use this later just copy and paste it from the text editor as sending to someone else via an email and paste it and it's it's running so it's, it's really really fast to get the stuff you have done already from one scene to another scene and if you have um, a setup like this one here so I use um, USD and data to scatter for a V-Ray um, this is the USD part where you load the U uh, USD data and here is the, the instancer and this is uh, the only Pyfrost uh, stuff you have to do just scatter points and then randomize and scale and if you just connect the geometry where it has to grow you instantly uh, get your uh, stuff working same goes for this one here see the flowers are growing from there and here is another one just for the grass and if we uh, render this it should uh, pick up the USD data and um, it's rendering the, the Harris version so those two here the open layer this one is the the proxy one you can um, see in the in the viewport here the Loris version and here is uh, loading the the Harris stuff and there are um, the growing stuff I will show you something about that the grass culling stuff this was this is this one here um, I use it here to cut the points so in the area of this box here if I move that there is no uh, grass growing you can see if I render this now it should pick it up and you see there is no grass yeah. and the only thing you have to do in, an, in a new scene is just drag and drop the Maya object in the graph connected and from where it should growing and it's also easy to uh, use different objects here um, to grow this here is the grass and if I um, use the bus geometry for example you see I get a lot of brushes here yeah. so it's not that complicated I will upload this scene here later on the Bifrost github so you can just grab it and use it and yeah have fun <laughs>